My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. What do we have here? Look at this. Fired FBI official Andrew McCabe's lawyers file suit against FBI DOJ and its watchdog. Hit, hit subscribe right now. The train is already moving. It's almost at full speed. Get on board. H.A. Goodman on YouTube. Make sure it's H.A. Goodman with 115,000 subscribers. If you're looking below and it's like a copycat channel and you don't see 115,000 subscribers, let YouTube know that there are people trying to copy my channel. But this basically vindicates everything I've been saying. McCabe is going to get indicted. And eventually Clinton will get indicted. But all of this is coming crashing down. Lawyers representing, and by the way, I have H.A. Second Amendment channel. It is below in the pin comment. Also, if you don't see a pin comment with me unveiling my new uh, California legal AK-47 Sentry uh, Arms, then don't see 39 feet two. Then you know, please, it's not my channel. Anyway, that's in the pin comment of this channel. Over 115, we're almost at 120,000 subscribers are on our way. Hit subscribe. Lawyers representing former FBI Director Andrew McCabe filed a suit <laughs> against the Department of Justice and FBI on Tuesday, interesting, alleging they wouldn't give up files connected to his ouster. So welcome to the club, McCabe. Welcome to the club. You're now an average American citizen. What can I tell you? It's not fun. You presided over a monstrosity called the FBI, and now you're just a regular citizen now. Let's see if the Bill of Rights protects you. Let's see if everything you did to infringe upon Trump's, what, Fourth Amendment rights, other um, liberties, and also the rights and liberties of so many other people. You helped foster this ridiculous Trump-Russia narrative. And now you, you're you demanding files. You didn't even demand Andrew McCabe to see the, the DNC servers. You just trusted CrowdStrike. Why don't you ask BuzzFeed? You trusted BuzzFeed. Why don't you, why don't you see if BuzzFeed can help you out? Mr. McCabe, why don't you just go ahead and see if BuzzFeed can go ahead and give you some information on your ouster or your firing. Lawyers representing lawyers representing former FBI Director Andrew McCabe filed a suit against the Justice Department and FBI on Tuesday, alleging they wouldn't give up files connected to his ouster. McCabe's lawyer claimed that the Justice Department has denied their client access to the sought-after information out of concern the documents could, could be later used against them. What? McCabe's lawyers claim the Justice Department has denied their client access to the sought-after information out of concern that the documents could be later used against them. Yeah, that's exactly what you were doing. McCabe, this is even better than Buzz, BuzzFeed suing the DNC. BuzzFeed is suing the DNC for information and evidence to corroborate the Steele dossier, which was used by Andrew McCabe who then was fired and now is suing the DOJ for evidence to corroborate all the reasons why he was fired. This sordid tale never ends. I might do a Jeff Sessions at minute 15 or 16. I don't know. But it's just unbelievable. We don't create or adjudicate under secret law or procedure. Oh, really? David Snyder, a lawyer representing McCabe. Really? Interesting. Tell that to Jeffrey Sterling, who had information retroactively classified just to hurt him and to imprison him, CIA whistleblower, and tell that to um, everybody watching Comey say that Clinton didn't intentionally transfer top secret intelligence and special access program intelligence from Cipernet, Jwigs, and Skiffs onto her basement server that was unencrypted for close to six months. The server was unencrypted. When people say, oh, you know, uh, private email, uh, cell phones, no. You can use a Gmail if you're using Gmail and the government servers are catching everything. You're not going to hide anything from the government. But it doesn't matter. They, McCabe is suing the DOJ now. He's suing Sessions. <laughs> McCabe was fired in March, just a few days shy of his retirement by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. After it was reported that he leaked a self-serving story to the press and later lied about it to Comey. Okay. So he asked, this is hilarious, he asked for immunity, didn't get immunity, so now he's suing, and the guy knows he's going to get indicted. 
So I'm the only person, I think, saying the guy's going to get indicted. I've been saying this for several weeks, and actually months now, but several weeks. I've done numerous stories. He will get indicted. It is, it is June 12th, 2018. Remember when I told you in, on June 12th and all the prior segments, the 10th or whatever, like two weeks ago, who, care, who cares when I told you? He's going to get indicted. He asked for immunity. First, okay, let's the timeline. He's the first person with a criminal referral from Horowitz. This was like a month ago, maybe two months ago, I think. No, no, no. Let's look at the timeline. Okay, sorry. He was fired. The Office of Professional Responsibility tells Sessions, hey, fire this guy. The Office of Professional Responsibility at the FBI says, yeah, he... He wasn't professional, and he wasn't responsible, and he was unethical, and he broke protocol, and he broke uh, bureaucratic, you know, policies, and fire him. Sessions fires him. Then there's a criminal referral from Michael Horowitz of the IG, but months before the IG report, which is coming out for, on the 14th. Then there was another criminal referral by Ron DeSantis. Then there was a call from a special counsel, Congressman Ron DeSantis. Then you fast forward last week, he asks for immunity. <laughs> and he didn't get his immunity. He's like, well, you know what? I'm going to sue you then. Okay. And he sues the DOJ now. The number two at the FBI, who presided over everything, who needed the DOJ's help while he was fabricating a Trump-Russia myth and covering Clinton emails, is now suing when his own wife received a million dollars what, 700 to 1.2 million from Terry McAuliffe and Super PACs, according to Dick Morris. 1.2 million, according to Dick Morris. But it's, there's no debate about McCabe's family receiving 700,000 from Terry McAuliffe, who is, Terry McAuliffe almost makes Hillary look like an honest person, if you could imagine, almost, if you could imagine, Hillary Clinton. A representative for the Department of Justice did not immediately respond because they're flicking, they're, they're giving him the finger. Just like the so welcome to the club, the lowly American citizen, Andrew McCabe. I, thanks, you know, welcome. You know, we'd love to have you here, experience everything we're experiencing. Not fun, not so fun, isn't it? Isn't it not fun at all? McCabe's like, wait a second, um, you're withholding documents. Yeah, that, that's, we don't know the Loretta Lynch transcripts with um, with Bill, Bill Clinton, although there's now been uh, Judicial Watch found uh, text messages from Strzok and Page talking about what, you know, that meeting. We don't know um, why the FBI used the Steele dossier when Hillary purchased it. We don't know why they didn't tell the FISA judge that Hillary Clinton had purchased it. How, why doesn't, see, Andrew McCabe is doing this all wrong. Of course, I'm sure that no Andrew McCabe is not watching this. But if he is, you're doing it all wrong. You're going to go to jail, buddy. And it really doesn't matter if your lawsuit isn't going to save you from getting indicted and prosecuted. You're doing it all wrong. Go ahead. Flip and sing, which you eventually will once he gets indicted. Because right now he's like, well, maybe they won't indict me. And they're going to indict your behind. You're a criminal, buddy. Andrew McCabe was a criminal. James Comey was a criminal also. He lied under oath. Even if you want to say, well, he was inept and irresponsible, but he's not criminal. He lied under oath. He said that he didn't exonerate Clinton before her interview. And then, then he slithered. He said, like, well, you know, I had a sense of what was going on. Sorry. That's not what you said. You didn't say he had, you had a sense of what was going on under oath in testimony in the Congress. You said very clearly, I, you even, he, he even went so far as to say, if there's any colleagues that thinks, that, if there are any colleagues of mine who think that I exonerated Clinton before it was time, please have them speak to me. That, that's almost ex verbatim what he said. And he exonerated Clinton. It was all a cover-up. Now, I don't want to you know, pat myself on the back, but there are people within Congress and there are former Trump advisors who have read but her top secret emails. Read, read the book below, but her top secret emails. It's in the pinned comment. W, and the Awan brothers and W. Wasserman Schultz, but her deleted emails that de debunking the Trump-Russia myth. I'll come out with a book after the IG report. 
But butter top secret emails and debunking the Trump Russia myth and 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 butter deleted emails will pretty much and I wrote them in 2017. They're pretty much going to foreshadow or they they pretty much foreshadow and they pretty much explain everything you're going to hear in the IG report. I I believe I, now there could be some amazing curveballs or split finger fastballs or or sliders in the IG report that we don't know yet. But it's going to be I mean between peace between North and South Korea. I mean, could you imagine what kind of person do you have to be? And it's I met somebody today, very intelligent, great human being. And and she was like she was like, "Oh, I was like, yeah, you know, there's... And she was like, ah, oh, Trump. What an idiot. I was like, well, you know, presiding over peace between North and South Korea is pretty good. Pretty good. No, it's pretty good, no? And she was like, oh, right, yeah, right. Like, really? You believe that? I was like, check the internet. Okay? It's just so difficult. People are like... Because there, there's been such a propaganda blitz that the cognitive dissonance of things actually working out for Trump and things like the exact opposite. It's really funny too, because it's almost like if you bet on, they're like, you know, like those college football, like lead pipe lock, Michigan State plus seven, you know, Notre Dame minus 15. It's just if you, it's the exact opposite. If you bet on the exact opposite of the Democratic Party, like you'd win millions. Democratic Party pundits, Vox, 538, like, Hillary's going to win. Oh, Hillary lost. Trump is a madman. Oh, North Korean peace. The economy's going to tank. Good economy. Mm. Russia's going to do him in. No, McCabe. McCabe's behind his grass, and Trump is the lawnmower. Every single thing they say, the opposite takes place. Every single thing they say. And now, fired FBI official Andrew McCabe file suit against <laughs> DOJ and FBI. It's just unbelievable. Let's let's hear this more. This is According to the lawsuit McCabe's firing came after quote proceedings that violated federal law. Mm, really? And departed from applicable administrative rules, standards and policies and procedures. It states that the Freedom of Information Act requires related documents to be produced for review. This is a profanity alert. Do not listen if you don't want to hear profanity. This is to nobody in particular, but to everybody in general. This is, that's, uh, God bless him, um, macho man Randy Savage, the best. When he was like, this is, it was one of his promos, but this is directed to nobody in particular, but everybody in general who wants to promote this, who, who, who once promoted Trump Russia and, and kept documents from everybody and now wants documents, okay? This is a profanity alert. Do not listen if you don't want to hear profanity. Give you a couple seconds. Do not listen if you don't want to hear profanity. Fuck you. You fabricated and deceived and colluded with Hillary Clinton, the Democratic Party, CrowdStrike, all of these people who didn't give service to the US government, who utilized the Steele dossier, that according to Bob Woodward is a garbage document. You've yet to find evidence of any collusion. You've taken us to the brink of yet another Cold War. Fuck you if you want, uh, if you're going to go on Freedom of Information Act requests when Hillary has like a backlog of FOIA lawsuits. We're still waiting for three million fucking documents, so fuck you. Nobody in particular, but everybody who promoted this myth. Fuck you. You want a uh, Freedom of Information Act uh, documents? You first give the American people the three million documents you're withholding regarding the fabricating of Trump Russia, regarding the Clinton email cover-up. So fuck off if you think you're just going to go sue the DOJ. McCabe wants to sue the DOJ using Freedom of Information Act requests. When there's a backlog, get in line. Why don't you get in line, Mr. McCabe? Get in line. The lowly peons called the American people are waiting for their freedom of inform their documents. We only have three million we're waiting for. You probably know a lot about them. Look, you're gonna get in McCabe's gonna get indicted. What is he? Andrew McCabe of the FBI is gonna get indicted. What is he waiting for? You already asked for it. You can't sue 
after you ask for immunity, your cards are already, you have, you have no cards. You've already folded. <laughs> you have zero leverage, zero leverage, zero leverage. You're suing for Freedom of Information Act. You're, su you're suing for FOIA documents when Judicial Watch is way ahead of you in line. We want, they want documents relating to Trump Russia. Devin Nunes, Lee Zeldin, Ron DeSantis, Jim Jordan, Matt Gates, all of these Republicans who want, by the way, you to be criminally prosecuted and Hillary and a whole bunch of other people, Comey. They've requested documents. So this is a profanity alert. Do not listen if you don't want to hear profanity. Fuck off and get in line because there's a whole lot of people who want FOIA documents. Anyway, defendants, however, have not disclosed those materials, whether proactively or upon request from plaintiff as counsel for Mr. McCabe. It is, inc it is, it is inc incongruous with defendants' public and repeated representations to the effect that Mr. McCabe was dismissed from the FBI following an extensive and fair investigation. Uh, what? Which was carried out in ac according to... Yeah... <laughs> I, he's suing the documents are going to not only they're going to his lawyers apparently don't know that the documents are very likely going to implicate him in a whole bunch of other nonsense he was the number two with the fbi why did he fly to london you know what they should do you know what sessions should do let's go ahead and get a sessions phone call how are you today mr president gets better and better every day every day is like a sweet georgia peach Yes, I'm doing great. Guess what? Guess what the good news is? This might even be better than North Korean base. Guess who's suing us? No, not Stormy Daniels. Y you heard about it? Andrew McCabe is suing us. <laughs> yes, I know. Always oh, so funny. I know. Yeah, well, you know what he doesn't know. See? Um, what he doesn't know is, what he doesn't know is that uh, all those uh, plane trips that he took, that he supposedly, supposedly uh, took to London in the UK, well, guess what he did afterwards? That's right, he flew to Thailand. Well, what do you think he did there? That's right. A anyways, on FBI budget, can you believe it? Yeah, the, when they were going ahead and trying to fabricate everything, fabricate you and Russia, guess who was getting peed on? It wasn't you, Mr. President, I know. It was McCabe. He was flying to Thailand. Oh, my goodness, he had a good tour. Amsterdam. He was tripping the night fantastic every, everywhere. He was globetrotting around the world, doing Lord knows what in Amsterdam and Thailand. I have the, the receipts. Yeah, he flew economy class. He thought he would, we wouldn't care. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, you got that video too, of Comey. Yes. Yes, he does look like a, a slithery, slimy reptile. Okay. You did. Of Clapper? No. Of Clapper and Sally Yates. A sex video? My good lord. That, that's enough to blind me forever. Blind, it'd be like watching Medusa. Yes. It turned to stone watching that nonsense. Clapper and Sally Yates? Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. For two hours? My, what, what, what is this man taking? VHS? Well, he's a sick. I, I can Well, you know, Brennan. Well, this is going to be hilarious. I might just have to call up Brennan and say, "Guess what I found?" Yeah. Well, you know he likes Sally. But for two hours, Clapper. He didn't have a fill in or anything. No. It, oh, what? I couldn't. You know, you never know. Okay. I know. Well, you know, Brennan's not going to be happy. Yeah, he likes Sally Eats. And I heard from the grapevine, Sally H said she'd rather be with um, Jeffrey Dahmer's cousin, 
than than uh, Brennan. Yeah, which basically she's with Clapper, so <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, sir, thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Well, anyway, getting back to you, McCabe, he's suing us. So I, I told him to take a, one of those bakery line t uh, things. You know those those numbers in the bakery. Yeah. He wants a freedom of, of, of information request. I said, take a number. You're number 5,000 billion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're not going to. Well, I, I understand, sir. Well, you know we can't give you all the information. We're going to indict Clinton. But we can't give you everything. Well, that's just how corrupt we are. You know that. I had that talk with you. That's the whole thing. You're going to pretend you don't like me. Yeah, it's happening. Hashtag it's happening. Yes. Okay. And we keep suing us. Oh, we'll, we'll indict his ass very soon. All right, thank you so much, sir. Have a congratulations on peace between North and South Korea. Okay. Now I don't want to watch that VHS. Why don't, why, you, oh, I definitely, I definitely will show Brennan. Yeah, he keeps talking about the poo poo dossier. He says there's a poo poo dossier on you. I said, you know what? Well, before you, before you, you send it out. Why don't you try some? He already did. Yeah, he he did. Sick, sick puppy. Anyway, give me your... <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Yes, you have a great day. Okay, bye-bye now. Thank you. Okay, so anyway, whatever that was, not... Um, McCabe is suing... McCabe is suing um, the DOJ, which is absolutely hilarious. Give me your thoughts below. Um, I'm unboxing my new California Compliant AK. 47 sporting rifle semi-automatic it's not an assault rifle it's a sporting rifle these people are so they don't, they don't know anything once you learn about firearms you learn about the second amendment you learn to enjoy safely and responsibly and you take advantage of the rights that you're given um and you just watch ha second amendment it's just a person who's enjoying the second amendment safely responsibly abiding by youtube policies and california laws which are very you know there are a lot more regulations in California than any other state. And you can see that, by the way, my AK-47 looks. Anyway, I explain in the unboxing videos below. Give me your thoughts. Share this segment everywhere. Subscribe to H.A. Goodman on YouTube. Make sure it's over 115,000. We're almost at 116,000 on our way to 120 as my voice, your voice grows as well. Thank you so much for listening.